Hey, it's Mark Wing, the Outdoor Nerd, and I'm here with the Lumen Top Prince flashlight. Now, this one is in brass. You can also buy it in stainless steel and copper. And it's pretty much a typical 18650 flashlight. It's got the nice kind of high-end inset switch. It's got a Cree XML2 emitter, and you can see the anti-reflecting coating on the lens. It's a smooth reflector, so you can hopefully see in the camera here. And um, it's got a nice carbon fiber inlay here, a nice uh, brass looking deep carry clip. And it's pretty much the typical standard single 18650 so uh, flashlight, except uh, deluxe, I guess I'd call it. But yeah, it's a neat looking little flashlight. Included with the Prince is a high end 18650 lithium ion cell for it. It's branded Lumen Top, but it's basically just a rewrap Panasonic. Now it's a 3400 milliamp hours, and on my charger it tested to be 3285 or something like that, which is well within the specs for a high-end Panasonic battery. I thought it was a nice touch. This flashlight has a pretty basic mode configuration. It's got low, medium, and high with no uh, disco or strobe modes, no beacon or flashy, blinky type modes. It's basically got low, medium, high, which you access with the tail switch here, and then you change modes with the tail switch. See, there's low, medium, high. And that's pretty much all you get, but that's just the basics. That's really all you need. Now overall this looks to be a very well built flashlight. The brass looks great, the clip's nice and solid, looks well built, the switch looks good, the reflector, the lens, the LED, everything I look for looks good. It's got lots of lube on the O-rings here, reverse polarity protection. It just seems to be a well-built flashlight. Now my concern for this type of flashlight is the tail switch. How many cycles does the tail switch have before it uh, wears out? So time will tell, but um, so far the lumen tops I have seem to be pre treating me pretty good as far as the switches go. So I'd have to give this an A for build quality. I'm just, uh, I'm really impressed to be honest. Just like the build quality of my review sample, the fit and finish is pretty impressive. Things I look for are um, rough, rough edges around the clips. It does have kind of cheap screws though. I think that's the only thing I'd really ding it for. But I look for tool marks. I believe any of the scratches that are on it I've put there myself. I look for a well centered LED which this has. The smooth reflector. A nice blue anti-reflective coating. I look for the feel of the switch, which is pretty good, and the carbon fiber, the uh, printing, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, is pretty crisp, uh, and just overall, this is just fantastic looking. Uh, I think they really did a good job. Bravo to you. Included in the box are the flashlight, the battery, the sheath, some extra O-rings, which is a nice touch and a bunch of instructions that, let's be honest, nobody reads. Overall, I'd rate the usability of the prints uh, very good. Now, I will say up front that it's pretty heavy. It's uh, solid brass, and the stainless steel one, I imagine, is even heavier than that. And that's a concern for me, but I know a lot of guys that carry heavy flashlights and heavy pocket knives and stuff like that, so for most people, that probably won't be an issue. Other than that, this has everything I look for in a EDC type flashlight. I'm a big fan of the deep carry clip, and not only the deep carry clip, but the fact that it's attached by screws. I mean, I can't even say how many flashlights the clip has fallen off in my pocket, and sometimes I end up with the flashlight with no clip, sometimes I end up with the clip with no flashlight. So I really look for an attached deep carry clip like this. And not just that, but it's got to be solid. It can't be a weak clip. It's got everything uh, I really look for. I, you know, a simple recessed tail switch, easy, simple mode configuration. It looks good. It's got good output. Now I'd call the tint um, neutral white. They're not calling this a neutral white model, 
but the tin is still definitely um, neutral-ish. It doesn't have that icky green or cool blue or icky purple or anything like that. It's got a pretty decent tint, uh, which I would also expect from a high-end flashlight like this. Uh, the switch has a good feel. I like the feel of the switch. Now, sometimes these recessed or um, yeah, recessed tail switches here, if you push them on the sides, they don't have a very good feel. But this one has a pretty good feel no matter where you press it. And it's got kind of a soft touch uh, to it that I like. It's got a really um, a really good feel on the switch. Uh, the beam is nice and smooth with the smooth reflector. And overall, uh, the usability is pretty good on this. One of the benefits I've had from being uh, so far behind on reviews is that I've gotten to carry the Lumentop prints here for a good solid month and put it through its paces. It's seen uh, plumbing disasters, dog walking, basically your typical EDC tasks that I've used it for. Now this one's promised to my brother-in-law, so I'm almost kind of jealous because I think Lumatop has a winner here. It's a decent flashlight. I mean, it hits basically ticks all the boxes. Everything I look for in an EDC flashlight. Clip, output, tints, fit and finish, build quality. It's all there. Like I said, I think uh, Lumitop should be proud. They built a pretty good product.